to hear the frugal crafter today i'm going to show you how to refill one of these posca paint pens and this is the posca fine tip pen i really enjoy this for adding highlights to things i use these pens over my watercolor and sometimes on their own but they're just a really great fine tip pen except mine has gone dry and uh, the nib was still in really great shape and the body of the pen's in really great shape so it seemed a shame to throw it away so what I'm gonna do is mix up some ink for this pen. So this is an acrylic paint pen, so I'm gonna start off with acrylic paint. I'm using Chromacryl Blockout White, but any white craft paint should be fine. I'm using this because it's a really opaque, um, semi-fluid paint, and I'm just gonna put a few, um, just like maybe the size of, oh, like a grape in there, not a lot. And then I am going to use a spray bottle to add some water to it because I just want to thin it down a little bit, but not too much. And I'm just going to stir it up with a pipette because I'm going to need something small that I can load up my pen with. And it needs to be the consistency of probably like, um, like a heavy cream that's still a little thick because it's going to be able to come out of the pen. Now the pen does have a little bearing in there, so that will help mix it up uh, as needed, but I, it's got to, it's definitely got to flow. So I'm just going to make sure I end up with like a, a fluid consistency and that doesn't look too bad. I think that will work right there. So if you can see there, it's about the consistency of a heavy cream. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take the nib out. Now, I'm unable to separate this part from this part, but you may have a paint pen that doesn't come across, come out there like uh, these are hoo hoo paint pens. You can um, unscrew the bottom and you can just pull this off and refill it easily that way. Um, and these, so these are fantastic as well. I really enjoy these. These are a thicker nibbed pen though. So when that runs out, I'll do the same thing. As long as the nib is in good shape. If the nib is in bad shape, then I'll, you know, I'll have to dispose of it. But I'm really trying to not dispose of so much in my craft room. So you can see, I just use my fingers to grab the nib and yank it out. You could use tweezers if you need to, but your fingers aren't gonna damage anything because your fingers are soft and um, will grip that nib really well. So I'm going to load up my pipette with this um, material here and then I am going to match it up to the end and give it a squeeze. Now it might be a little messy because I don't really have a lot of room for air in here. And I might need to grab my needle tool to poke that ink in a little bit. I'll just do it over your mixing area in case you get too much in there. My apologies for the furnace. I bet I think that's probably pretty full so I'm going to wipe off the excess ink with a tissue here just wipe that away and then we're going to put the nib back in and give it a try and see if that is liquid enough so we're going to put our nib back in like so again I just want to wipe off any excess and I am going to give it a shake I'm going to put the cap on and shake it up make sure that everything's mixed now I might need to add a drop or two of water. If it doesn't flow when I go to write with it, I'll just use my pipette to add some plain water in there. Look at that. It's working great. So there you go. Looks like I got a really good mix. Nothing was coming out of this pen before. I guess I should have probably showed you that. But um, if I want to make it flow more, I just give it a couple pumps and I can get a little bit more of that paint come out, maybe a little thicker. Maybe I would have been able to go a little bit thicker with my paint, I'm not sure, but it does look pretty opaque. You could also use gesso. Um, I could show you this on a more contrasted paper. Let me go find a black piece of paper to show you on that. Look at that, nice and opaque. It really shows up there well. And uh, there, to save that from going in the landfill. Now, since I have a little left over, I'm not gonna put it back in the bottle of paint or I don't really have a way to save it. There isn't too much left over, but there's probably enough that I could put some, I could top off this paint pen. I might as well, right? So I will just pull the storage area off of the pen and just top her up. So no matter what kind of paint pen you have, this is a great way to get a little more life out of it because the less we put in the landfills, the longer our planet is going to last and the longer our art supply budget will last too. Um, again, my apologies for the noise of the furnace, but I just wanted to share this really quick tip with you while I was doing it anyway because I don't have any other, any other pens that are running dry, so this was going to be now or never. And uh, I'll just show you this one, how this writes. Of course, this was an out, so you'll probably be seeing the uh, the old ink, 
but these are just really fantastic to use as well. And actually, I think this this ink may be a little more opaque than what I have. Oh yeah, when I mix it up, it seems like it's a little more opaque. But there you have it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this quick and easy solution. And until next time, happy crafting.